to battle, packmates! And welcome back to another episode of Star Trek Commander, where I press plus I am Rear Admiral Tirek of the Dreadnought Whitefire, as we continue our campaign against the remains of the Marak Star League. In the last episode, we captured the Marak homeworld of 9-1. I don't actually know what the name of the planet is. I probably should know that, considering I like playing the Marak so much. But I don't, so it's 9-1. And it has just become yet another province of the Grand Liren Star Empire. So yeah, last episode we fought three planetary assaults and managed to basically take the homeworld. And to be frank, it wasn't that difficult of a battle. Uh, we've faced much sterner resistance fighting other targets in the Merak. Uh, the shipyards of, I think it was 10-2, or may have been 9-2, uh, we saw a lot more Dreadnought activity. But I'm not about to look a gift horse in the ha mouse. We... The gift horse in the mouse. Never mind. I'm not allowed to, about to look at gift horse in the mouth. We're just going to press on, kick some butt, grab more territory, and prevent the Merak from trying to claw their way back into this campaign. And we'll start off with a surprise reverse, which... I think this is the first surprise reverse we've better, ever been on in this Dreadnought. Which is good. Because I imagine this Dreadnought will be very, very good at this sort of mission. Uh, we have started in, I think, the far position. Or maybe not. They are 158 out. Uh, we are escorted today, of course, by the Pestilence and the Triumph. Uh, Pestilence, I do think, yeah, is a Lyran new, new heavy cruiser, and the Triumph is our pirate allies. We are currently squaring off against a Federation group that has decided to come in and attempt to save the Morax bacon. And they are a frigate. Another frigate. An this is, yeah, an upgraded frigate. A destroyer? And I do think you are a strike cruiser. I think, uh, yeah, it's got to be a strike cruiser because it's got the uh, it's got the fast uh, the fast saucer section and a triple nacelle design. So let's uh, go full power with all the engines. We need to get there as quickly as possible before the enemy can charge up. It is very very important we get there first. Let's make sure that uh, we cycle that battery so it's not being wasted on anything. And yeah. Now we just sit in for the long haul. Let's see exactly what kind of vessel you are. You are, according to data, yes, a new fast cruiser. So, not quite a strike cruiser, but still decent enough in design. Um, are we going to get any more power? No, this is as fast as we're going to be able to go. So it increases the speed of time. It's just driving right in towards the enemy at this point. We will, of course, fire the mauler, see what kind of damage we can deal to a heavy cruiser. And then maybe the expanding for generators will be able to take care of it all. If not, uh, we can always follow up with a pretty substantial phase of barrage. Not hugely substantial, but decent enough. So we're going to select the Mauler. Mauler within double range. Fire. Kick on the ESGs. Oh, we kicked them out at the wrong range. All up and select. Got him. We got him with the heavy weapons just in time. So we managed to basically run over a heavy cruiser in one shot. This DDGR, it's a guided destroyer. One of my favorite designs is uh, probably going to be our next target, because I think the rest of them are just light frigates. Oh, you're a, f a FNLR, is that? And you are a patrol ship. You are also a patrol... Not you, but there's another patrol vessel somewhere around here. But yeah, definitely this is the next target. Fire all weapons. Uh, come on, you should have some phasers in... Oh, no, not. I misread this. They thought that all my phasers were ready to go. They are not quite ready to go. So we'll start just curling in, blasting into these guys. And how is our energy creation going? Oh, quite well. We should be able to fire the, the mauler at more interesting targets very shortly. But until that happens, uh, we're going to kick on both expanding for generators and kill him in one go. Both ESGs spiraling up to deal a grand total of enough damage to blow him out of the water. Uh, you're not important yet. You... are you the... Yes, you are the advanced frigate design. Yeah, so it's a frigate leader equipped with no less than two F-type plasma torpedoes. That's pretty impressive. Uh, this is definitely a late-era frigate design to uh, have that kind of firepower on board. We were in one of these ships for a, an extremely short period of time in our uh, first campaign ever as the Federation, which, after having gone through almost every single other race, I think by the time we finish with next season, I'm going to be fully primed and ready to go back to the Federation just to see how things are. Uh, that is, of course, the long-range plan. After we finish all eight races, uh, we may take a single one game as a break, sort of play something else for a little while, and then we'll come back to this, and we will play through all the races again, except we'll try and pick different enemies from the ones we went after before. So, one more point of power. Maximum power! Whew. Shouldn't be surprised. I mean, we know that frigates just melt under the fire weight of firepower from our e from our mauler, but still, that is such a wonderful feeling. So the entire Federation task group annihilated with, well, no casualties, and frankly, not a whole heck of a lot of damage to us either. 
Shield efficiency was at 100%. So let's see, 300 prestige, not bad. And nothing done with the tile. We're going to push out just so we can kind of get an idea of where the enemy strong points are. We're not seeing much at this point, so yeah, let's find the enemy at some point. And uh, apparently an anomaly mission, so there will be a random disabled vessel. Hit the red alert. Oh, it's one of these where the disabled vessel's way off to the side. Uh, we're frankly not going to bother with it. Instead, we're going to face off this battle cruiser. It is a ZBC. Uh, the Z, of course, is standing for Marak, because, you know, cat people, M-I-R-A-K, translates to Z. Okay? Which is a little bit weird, because I'm trying to think, is there another M race? We've got Federation, which is F, Klingon is K, uh, Hydrons are H, Lyrans are L, Romulans are R, ISC is I, uh, did we already say Lyrans are L? And the Marak is Z. Hmm. And yet... It's the only one that doesn't make sense. Maybe I'm just thinking too much into it, but it's the little things like this that keep me up at night, unable to sleep. What does this game mean? So we'll increase speed up to our full cruising power. Not cruising, but like full sprint with all weapons charged. We're not going to make the mistake we made during the surprise reverse. We're going to put this down to zero range so it deals absolute maximum amounts of damage. Uh, we do, after all, want to cause, well, as much pain and havoc to the enemy as possible. We probably should prep a wild weasel. So forward shield, reinforce, come over here, cycle the battery, and then start prepping one of these. We do have to go down a little bit in speed, but that's not such a huge deal. You are a battle cruiser. I'm going to estimate six to eight missile launchers on board. This isn't going to be, like, truly devastatingly scary. But we will find out shortly, so I'm not going to bother with the probe. That'll just leave us weaker for when the enemy actually gets into range. When he hits a range of about 20 is when we'll probably cut engine power so that we get a nice, powerful, solid forward shield. And range of 20 is now, so we'll drop down in speed to around here. That'll super buff up the forward shield, and you are only equipped with four ARACs. What kind of battle cruiser are you? So wait till we're within range. Seven, six, 5.99. So fire in that. All weapons, expanding for generators to full power. And now. So we managed to knock out all of his defenses and shatter most of his ship. And, you know, of course, the Mauler, just for giggles. Uh, I don't think you're going to be a threat. We've taken out all of your systems. <laughs> wow! 82-32-82. So, um, that was a thing. Let's check the Marines. How are you doing, my friend? Seven people on board. If you survive the next phaser volley, I'll steal you. I'll be nice like that. So wait for the phasers to uh, fully charge. He wasn't able to survive... And now, of course, the light cruiser at extended range will increase the speed of time. Uh, how's the mauler charging? I would like it at full power, but, you know, there's no point in waiting. I'm estimating that the universe will annihilate it. It likes to do that sort of thing when we run into these things. Uh, just in case, we're apparently not going to be able to steal the medical supplies unless... Yeah, couldn't do it. Unless we, we had to sprint right for him right from the get-go, and it just wasn't going to happen. So, uh, no medical supplies stolen. The ship just suffered a warp core detonation and uh, was gone. 190 prestige? Eh, not bad. Not, not wonderful. I mean, we are getting used to taking a ton of prestige. There's our next target. We can't see much else. This is the first thing that's come up. So, mission, a patrol, except said patrol. We're sort of ranging out a little bit further ahead of the front lines. Now that we've managed to secure, I think, most of their planets, uh, we have no reason to not range out way ahead of the front line. Uh, this time we will prep the Wild Weasel, just in case we don't know what we're going to run into. Cycle the battery, and it's a freighter. And you're an unknown vessel. What do you have on board? You also have medical supplies. Increase speed to not full power. We will fully charge the weapons, but then we will sprint at full power to get to it, see if we can't steal the medical supplies, because if this is literally just a single freighter, then we don't care. All power to engines. How much longer until that single point of power is giving back to us so we can go at maximum speed? Very, very shortly. There it is. Full power. All engine power. So yeah, we're going to rush for this first, primarily because this guy is useless. He's an, FT he's an FTQ. We can kill him with the expanding for generators if we have to. Speaking of which, set that to zero. And uh, yeah, we'll just get in range. Transporters. I want his medical supplies. Okay. Guess not. We were unable to make it to him at maximum speed. All right, turn around to the freighter. The freighter has nothing interesting for us to steal. So he'll plink away with his uh, 
Impressive weaponry, I assume. Yeah, such deadly and devastating weaponry. Mauler select, front target, seven, six, five, good night. Such a lovely weapon. Oh, I love that gun. It basically solves the problem of having to fight frigates. <laughs> Ninety-eight prestige. Of course, it wasn't anything dangerous. And the tiles neutralized. Pop over here. Okay, so we have found a planet. And I don't want to bother with the asteroid base assault. It's not because it'll be hard. It won't be. I mean, it's an asteroid base. We have a mauler. We can basically crunch it down with a ton of damage every single turn. It would just be tedious. So instead, we'll do the other tedious mission. Uh, let's come over here. Prep the wild weasel. Again. Cycle that battery because we have had issues with that in the past. Are you the enemy defense ship? It does appear that way. Looks like a freighter, a freighter, another freighter, a freighter, and a freighter. So I think probably three freighters that are here to actually fight us. And escorting us, of course, today is the Sh Schreiber's Stuff. I suppose that is a name for a some sort of Royal Ryan pirate of some kind. But really, that's the name of your ship? Although it does remind me of Thor. Because uh, I saw Thor Ragnarok uh, shortly after it came out. Hilarious movie. If you haven't seen it, Taika Waititi did an excellent job. You should go out and see it. And uh, there's a character in it named Scourge, and this is not a spoiler, quite frankly. It shows up in the first five, ten minutes of the movie. And he says, Behold! My stuff! And he just points to all the stuff that he's been using the, uh... Using this... Using something, because I'm not going to be too specific as that. I guess that is a little bit of a spoiler. To, like, grab all... C collect all this stuff from all over the universe. It's hilarious. I love that scene. I love a lot of scenes from that movie. Especially the introduction of Korg. What was your favorite moment from, Gar from that movie? If you've seen it. I mean, you may not have. If you haven't, take the time. Go go out and do it. It's uh, it's well worth the theater money. But then again, so it was a game like this. Don't quite know where... Well, never mind. So we're charging up the uh, Mauler once again. Get it back up to full power. This is just going to be steadily going through every single one of these and hitting them with the Mauler. We don't have to. Oh, you are a Q-ship, by the way. So he'll have some sort of heavy weapon of some sort. Probably. Possibly. It's a Marak Q-ship. It might just be equipped with missiles. Hmm. FQS, he's being hit by uh, Shriver's stuff. And are you going to tell me what you're actually equipped with, or are you just kind of muddle around? Well, we do have to get within a range of 10, so... Oh, no, it's 15. Forgot. So, almost there. Almost in range. Slow down the speed of time a little bit. Hey, you. Uh, we'll go after you in a bit. Target. Target the enemy Q-ship. We have selected our uh, hilarious mauler, which I do not think can miss. You're dead. Come around. Looks like a uh, Hydran Freighter, which I suppose makes sense. We are at war with the Hydrans here, technically. Uh, phasers. Can you kill it? No. Our phaser arcs are not exactly great, so it's not really much of an option. Is that Shriver's? Yeah, that's Shriver's stuff. And we can't quite get in range to do this. He is just hanging just outside of, of the uh, phaser range. How's our Mauler doing? Yeah, we're going to come in. We're going to kill you, baby. Because I don't anticipate you'll be able to take the hit. So, 34, get me to 40 damage and I'll take the shot. One more point. There we go. Wasn't enough. Okay, phasers, kill them off. There we go. And this is an armored priority transport. Uh, you are a random freighter that's sort of zipping around. And Triber's stuff is just slow at doing everything. So, mostly a not Marak convoy. Like, there were, what, two, three Marak ships? And the rest are just all kinds of other crazy vessels? So let's pick up the speed of time. After all, we are just sort of arcing through this... Arcing through this convoy, laughably blowing everything up. And uh, we are at half damage range, so we would uh, need to get significantly closer to deal monster amounts of damage. Turn in disruptors. Oh, we hit with a couple of them, but not enough to destroy the ship. So we'll continue to close on you. The Mauler is at full power. Prepare to fire. Once again, we're going to wait for double range. May as well. We're not really in much of a hurry here. We're just sort of killing time. And convoy freighters. Six. And five. Double damage. You're gone. That's three Marak freighters destroyed. Target you next. Actually, no. Target you. ESGs. Set to a range of one. Kick them both out. There you go. Because why not? It's a little bit of an overkill. But hey. We're here to have some fun. I think we should pick up some speed. Really do. How's the map coming? We are kind of wasting a little bit of time by doing all this. Again, select the uh, Mauler, because I think it should be ready to rock by the time we get within uh, 
Devil's range. I can't believe you still haven't hurt him. Seven. We're at six. Five. Kill him. Last target. This vessel that apparently has not been destroyed by Shriver's stuff, despite the fact Shriver should be able to completely annihilate it. And we'll kick this on. We'll kick this on. Oh, looks like the Mauler was able to do it. Not worth the payment we gave you, pirate. At this point, I would probably turn to Starboard and smash into him to destroy his vessel. As proof. Do not cheat the Lyran Star Empire. 184, all freighters destroyed. Supply lines cut. Tile not taken. But we do have an opportunity to go through this mission. Unfortunately, it's a base assault. And that's scary. <laughs> Let's hope we are heavily supported. Red alert. Increase the speed. Come over here. We're going to want one of these. We are at the right speed of time, right? Yeah, just making sure. Have to be sure on that one. Uh, prep you. Come over here. Get that forward shield to the maximum reinforcement. We are escorted today by the C5 IKV Dream Slayer. A light dreadnought and currently screwing off against another light dreadnought. So, that's a thing. My main concern, however, is the uh, planet behind this. Or not planet, but heavy battle station. It could be a light perimeter station, and I would very much prefer that. So game, if at all possible, and you're listening to me, please be that. Uh, second dreadnought. Okay. We've been in this situation before. It never ends prettily. Um, it's a light dreadnought, and this is a carrier. You'll be deadly. You will be monstrously deadly. So let's slow down the speed of time so we can start planning things. Our first decoy shuttle is ready. Let's prep another one. Let's get the fighters deployed on a defensive setup. Yeah, sometimes I forget I have these. But they are quite useful. And I think the ESGs need to go maximum range. He's not going to have any fighters, but he will. If we unload on this DNLR, we won't have the ESGs ready for going through to him. So I think what we do is we'll do Mauler Phaser Disruptor. We'll save the ESGs to hit these fighters. That's got to be our only best option. Wait for that shield. There it is. Disruptors. Phasers. Good shooting. All right. Turn to starboard. And slow down a little bit. We want to make sure that we get some defenses. And ESGs. Kick it out to two. Drop a mine. I want you to turn that way because I don't want you to, you know, come in and take this hit from the ESG. So we are maneuvering deliberately away from this vessel. Set it to one. Full power. Increase the speed. We're going after these Vizslas. We've got to hit them first. Disruptors select. As soon as they come online, we're going to take a shot. Looks like our pseudo fighters already getting involved, dropping some mines and some free defenses. And the ESGs have taken out most of them. And our phasers took out a lot more. So he's down to three fighters. And we still haven't made it to the starbase. This is not good. Wow, you're big. Um, there's really no other way to put that. Let's make sure that we're not flying into anything. Nope, we're doing pretty well here, although we do have a shield down. Let's go shield reinforcement. Cut that off so that I can have more power to recharge the mauler. We're going to go in this direction because I want to get away from you. But if Dream Slayer, if you would just not mind unloading into this guy, that would be very, very helpful. Uh, check this alert to make sure we don't fly into it. Camera lock off so I can actually figure out where I'm flying. I think we better pick up some speed and get out of here. Just temporarily. We need some time to reset, rearm, re-engage. The whole nine yards. So fix that, fix that, and turn in. How's our uh, mauler doing? 14 points of energy. This carrier is mostly useless. Okay, I can completely take that back. That carrier has hilarious amounts of firepower still. How's the mauler doing? We're going to stick to the outskirts of this fight until the mauler is finished charging. So we come back in, have a nice decisive effect on it. Check our forward course, and that's what we wanted to check. Make sure we don't smash into, well, things that would kill us. We got another carrier come well, not another, but the carrier is coming in rather close to us. I do want to build in some distance here. Mauler is at 24 power. That's not enough. He is trying to bomb our uh, pseudo fighters, so let's call them back right now. They've done some nice damage, hurt some things. The Ancient Kings being the carrier. And let's turn on in. Disruptor select. And I want to fire my disruptors into that weakened shield if I can get the angle. Nope, couldn't quite get the angle. So we're going to come in on him. Mauler select, 39 points. We're going to wait. It's worth the damage because it's double. Oh, crap. Phasers. Engage phasers. Maximum. There we go. So can you do the turn in? How's the Mauler doing? 44. Four more points of power. Three more points of power. Come on. Two. 
Wow, he took out the forward shield. Full power. Engage the Mauler. All weapons fire into that gap. And the ESGs are on. Uh, he's going to get away. Nope, not quite, apparently. I'm actually pretty impressed. So we managed to deal a nice amount of damage to them. His engine power is falling. That's good. Let's reset this screen so I see what's actually broken. So we are taking quite a bit of a beating, but we have had a pretty decisive effect. We took out basically half his weapon systems. Let's drop a mine and uh, continue to circle in on this fight. And if we can put him in our stern, we can reinforce that stern and just continue to engage with disruptors into his stern. Stern, stern, stern. And this, not quite to do it. Mauler, what's the range? Only one point of power. Not going to do enough damage for what we want. Patch you, patch you. And phaser strike, I think we're going to have to claw him. We're going to want to do it from a little bit beyond his range, though. Not quite what I was looking for. Let's pull off. Uh, you should have no problem taking this at all. So we've got our shield facing towards him. And we finished patching our phaser 3 once again. Defender ship destroyed. Um, we don't quite want to go in that direction. That would be a problem. You have another group of Vizslas? How? Uh, ESGs set it to wide range. And we're going to basically bump you off the map. Kick them all on. We've got three ESGs charging up. And this should be more than capable of knocking out these Vizslas before they get into range to do anything. Yep, Vizslas destroyed and the ESG is still active. So, too bad we can't run over mines with this thing. That'd be super useful. Or did that work? I don't know. It's not really clear to me if that worked or not, or if the mine just blew up because it was out for so long. So we're going to continue to gently sort of circle around this guy. I don't want to get too close. How's the Mauler doing? Seven points of energy. Really? Are we that badly damaged? Well, we're asking for 18 points of speed on this. He's only doing nine, but we've mostly taken out all of his ability to fight. And the Dream Slayer is on the opposite side to him, the weaker side to him, so he should be able to cause a nice amount of damage. As long as we stay at range to him, he shouldn't be able to deal too much to us. Of course, we can't hurt him back much because we don't really have long-range weaponry. That's not really what the Lyrans do. Oh, now he's turning in to expose it to us, so we will now turn on in. And uh, we'll start plinking away with our Disruptors. Even from this range, it's it's still decently effective. Disruptors don't lose a lot of damage potential over distance. They don't deal as much as things like photon torpedoes, but they are really efficient weapons for long-range plinking. So it looks like the Dream Slayer really digging into him. And we are charging our Mauler up pretty decently well. We've got a shot, but I do want to get the 18 more points of power to finish being able to knock him out. Because I do think we'll be able to knock him out if we do that. So, Mauler charge is at 40. Almost there. Six more. Five, four, three, two, one. We are powered. Pull into range before you can get that shield around. 6.99. And... Show me 5.99. There it is. There we go. Mauler laying into him. Phasers to deal again even more. Phaser... I meant disruptors on that one, but yeah. And now this ought to finish him off. There we go. And just outside of our range from where he can hurt us. So, we've dealt with the twin dreadnought defenses. But now we have a bigger problem. Because now, we've got to kill a base station. And I don't know how powerful this base station is. It's just me and one other dreadnought. That's not good. So, ESG is fully charged. We have no repair to do on any sort of weapon system. We're going to find this, uh, we're going to find this base station now. That could be difficult. I think if we follow the Dream Slayer, we ought to go right to it. Nope, there it is. Target the enemy base station. And forward shield reinforcement, please. To full power. We're going to need it. Send a probe. Let's find out exactly what we're getting involved in. See if we can fight it or not. Oh, dear God. Okay. So. One, two, three, four, five disruptors. Or... Er, Six disruptors, twelve missile launchers, two, four, six, eight, f ten phaser fours. That's the problem right there, is the eight phaser fours. I don't think we can hurt him. Select the mauler, let's see what kind of damage we can get. If we can actually deal damage from maximum range, we will sit at maximum range and plank away with the mauler. That might be a solution to our problem. Uh, let's get the pseudo frigates deployed as defenses. 
and deployed. Select the Mauler because that's what we need to know. And yeah, them Phaser 4s, they're just, ugh. They're ripping him to shreds. Come on, tell me when I'm ranging the Mauler. Start to slow down a little bit more. I think it's a range of 20. And there we are in 20. Fire the Mauler. I don't know if we've actually managed to get past any sort of shielding he has. Oh, that's a problem. So we're generating excess of tw 12. We've got to put some po power into that Mauler if we want to do anything. So, mm, slowly charging that Mauler. And we're putting 34 points into shields. So we've lost our friendly attacker. Now we're just going to fire everything we've got into that. How's the shield reinforcements doing? Oh crap, um, slow down the speed of time. We desperately need... ESG's on now! Okay, we're not putting much power into our forward shields. That's a problem. And I do need a phaser 3 apparently patched? What? When did that happen? How's the forward shield reinforcement holding out? Probably not, actually. Oh, we got more incoming Vizslas. Disruptors can't hit the broad tip of a barn. And this is ready to go, but it's not going to deal a whole ton of damage. So we've managed to come with more. Okay, we've taken out more of the fighters. Let's call our own fighters back. Return. Return. You have repair work to do. Oof, from this range, can we really hurt it? He's not really hurting us, though. So let's charge the mauler and see if we can't punch a hole through him. Oh, let's get the the uh, power screen. That gives us an actual, accurate representation of what we're dealing with here. Did you fire missiles from somewhere? Okay, waiting for that mauler to charge. It's a 32. We can also track, you know, the mauler progress here, which is useful. So I think we've taken out pretty much his entire picket, which is nice. And his light phaser fire is not having an effect. I think if we close to a distance of 14, we can punch through. I think it's 14 where the Mauler becomes a one-for-one one damage. So let's increase the speed of time and watch that energy table very closely. So he's not quite punching through just yet. Phasers taking care of the income. What the hell? Oh, I guess we did run out of phasers. That's interesting. So keep an eye on how much he's doing, because that's important. The Mauler is back up to full power. So we could technically put our energy back up to full, but we're not going to, because we want to see just how we're doing here. And we got to keep a close eye on that damage potential. So steadily, slowly getting close to the ship. This is technically our job. Like, this is what the Mauler is supposed to do. It's supposed to siege the enemy. Okay, increase the speed. We do have to get a little bit closer. Watching that... I'm just staring right at that energy consumption on the shield right here. Because if it drops to zero, then we're in trouble. So we're within 15, but the, the damage potential isn't doubling. So it's not at full power. We may have to close even closer. The, the, oh, crap. I'll stop. We've got incoming fire. I need all energy to that forward shield right now. Full power. Full power to that forward shield. Slow down the speed of time just a little bit. So we're now putting in 42 points of energy, 33 into that forward shield. I think we've got to link the mauler and the main guns. Increase the speed of time just to get an idea of what he's able to do to us. That's a lot of damage he can do. So at this point now we're burning dry his missile batteries, which is good. Because the sooner we can dry his missile batteries, the sooner we can have a more safe time doing this sort of thing. Okay. They're all B-Rex. They should be extended magazines. You should be firing these left, right, and center. How's the Mauler doing? You need to get closer. You need to get a little bit closer. But we'll only have one shot with the Mauler. This, this is never acting because if this shield collapses on us, we're done. Like, 
all he needs is one good round of shooting. There it is! All stop, all stop! Alright, so, incoming missile barrage. Prepare for, uh, defensive weaponry. Oof, that was, that was close to knocking us out. Phasers, take them all down. We needed to fire one of the phasers I didn't want to fire. Okay, slow down the speed of time back to normal. We're gonna tie the mauler and the disruptors, because the disruptors won't have an effect on our power consumption. So as soon as this comes around is when we'll engage. And now! It wasn't enough. Probe, tell me how it went. It wasn't enough. I don't think we can bust through this. Not with the sort of firepower he's got. I need something that can... that can deal with that main gun of his. And I don't know what that would be. Well, not his main gun, but he's got his phasers. So that phaser keeps us on the defensive. Let's reduce power a little bit. So I want to call for 38 points of power. That'll get start giving us something to charge the mauler. Maybe if we pour the phasers in too, but that's gonna be a hard sell. Let's get the let's get the pseudo fighters back out. Maybe they can take some of the pressure off. So the pseudo frigates are deployed. Their shields are up, so we didn't take the uh, the opportunity to fire in at them. The mauler is charging slowly. So let's just start plinking away with the disruptors. Everything we got. So. Ooh. He is firing at the pseudo frigates though now. There is that. So the pseudo frigates pull in a little bit closer, get some intel, and then pull away. How's the mauler doing? 45, 46, 47, 48. So we now need to turn oh crap. Alright, we gotta get out of here. There's we can't do this. Not alone. Alone, that's not an option. Alright, so we need to reinforce the starboard and rear shields. Switch over now. So the forward shields are no longer being reinforced as of... He's hitting our side shields now. Oh, that's... The, he punched right through. So pull it around more, pull it around faster. Increase speed. Cut that off. Reinforce just these two stern. Bring it around faster. A little bit more. Let's get out of here so we don't die. And reinforce just the stern. Let's call the pseudo frigates back. Although I am surprised that they are alive based on his firepower. Oh, that's that's disheartening. I was hoping the Mauler would be able to do it. After all, the Mauler is basically the best ship, supposedly, for sort of this kind of crush work. But we just don't have the capability to do that. The further we get, the less damage we should take on that rear shield. And then we'll pull to starboard and jump off the map. There we go. We should be out of range by now. And let's pull ourselves off this map. <sighs> I had really hoped that we would be able to pull that off. I really did hope. But it just is not to be. And I also just looked at the clock and realized how far over time we normally went. So, more power, more engines. Let's get out of here. And uh, report our findings to home base that we're going to need some serious firepower if we want to pull this off. So turn the camera back on. And uh, escape. Escape with all hands. And our pseudo frigates, we didn't lose even those. That's pretty cool. So managed to get off the map. With only a little bit of damage. We should go home, check out the uh, check out the shipyard, see what's available for us. It might be something bigger and better. I don't know, I haven't taken a look at the date recently. Which is something we probably should do. So, yeah, no prestige, even though we blooped Dreadnoughts. So the tile stays neutral, but it's 2288.3. X-type vessels are very soon. They're, I think, 12 years out. So that's that's getting pretty quick. 
there is an enemy planet left still here at uh, 14 2 and that's probably where we'll go after we try and finish this tile at 12 3. hopefully we'll get a patrol to sneak stealth grab this one quickly but uh, that will have to wait for another time. Anyway, I've been Tarek. If you like what you've been seeing, hit that like button and subscribe. If you want to receive a notification every time I release one of these videos, press that little bell icon, leave a comment, and I will see you all in the next episode.